Hi, it's me again, and I thought today we could talk about something disgusting I found from the BBC. And I know it's not exactly breaking news to many of us, but this one I thought was bad even for them. And I think it was done in innocence, but it's wrong, and I find it bloody disgusting. So let me build you up to the story of how I, I came across this very quickly, and then we'll talk about it, right? But I was going through old Freedom of Information requests, and I stumbled across this one. Please provide a list of all IPs and domain names for BBC Online services. So it's quite an old Freedom of Information request, but the BBC people did reply with a list of all domain names that the BBC currently own, which I thought was interesting. So I've been going through a few of them, clicking them here and there, and I saw these ones that piqued my interest a little bit. Look, have a look at this. Jellyparties.co.uk, jollyparties.co.uk, and there was one called, where is it? focce.co.uk. Now, if you click them, they don't really work, but the internet does have a thing called the Wayback Machine, where you can look at websites and how they were in the past. So that focce one came up for me, and I'm looking in April 2015. That's what this website looked like, right? So let me show you it. So focc apparently is the Federation of Clowns and Children's Entertainers. Now, I do believe this was made for a TV show, okay? A TV show called Psychoville that was on the BBC a while ago. I never heard of it. I never heard of it, and people I've spoke to haven't really heard of it. But the show itself doesn't sound right. It sounds typical BBC to me. Disgusting. And I'll tell you why. Because of how they've made these websites that back up episodes of the show. That's what these websites are for. They were like props to the show. But they were public, and they were on the internet, and still are. And the BBC still own these domain names. They haven't got rid of them. They haven't cancelled them or anything. BBC still own these domain names, so this information is still available. Have a look at this. So this is just the website. If you scroll down, it's got a thing called Anger Management. Just a little box on the website. So it may not be the trendy option of the day, but most of our members have privately acknowledged that, on the whole, children are little bastards. When you turn up and do your party or entertainment, you can guarantee that at least one of these little shits will try and disrupt everything you do. How do we deal with this? Not like Mr. Crumbles of Woking, who was recently jailed for repeatedly rabbit punching a seven-year-old before being pulled off by two dads and a caretaker. With a little asterisk. And that little asterisk says at the bottom here, look. His defence that the child was looking at my willy did not stand up in court and Mr. Crumbles was placed on the child offenders register and given an 18-month sentence for ABH. Our FOCCE Red Mist Anger Management Pack provides you with a pamphlet on breathing techniques. 20 fags, an aromatherapy candle, and a cushion with a child's face on it to punch. How is that okay? Oh, I know it's for a TV show, but this was the BBC, right? The BBC owned this domain name. The BBC hosted this website that they made on their own servers. And now let's think a little bit about some of the history of the BBC with 70s entertainers. And then you get lines like, his defence that the child was looking at my willy did not stand up in court and he was placed on the offender's register. Should the BBC be doing things like this. It's disgusting, and it just shows the BBC all over. But then they've got other ones So from the same sort of show. Look, Mr. Jelly keeps kids quiet. The council asked me to remove this site because it's unsuitable for children and contains some strong language. Let's have a look at it. So um, this is April 2012, the date on this website I'm looking at. So I don't want to read all of it because it's, it's crap, and a lot of it's just weird and disgusting and yes i know it's for a tv show but should the bbc be getting involved in this but you scroll down to have a look at some of these services look so he runs pirate parties set sail for the high seas as mr jelly the pirate buccaneer a nautical theme party this event is suitable for boys but i can work in a couple of girls as mermaids as long as they wear seashell bras please note the bras i use do scratch it's a children's party it's not even funny for the tv shows this is the bbc servers hosted this information Enter the fairy tale kingdom and be a princess for a day. This magical party is mostly for girls, but if you know your little boy is bent, then I'll do it exactly the same. Welcome to the BBC. And it doesn't end there. There was another one for this called Midget Gems. Look, let's have a look. Midget Gems, purveyors of fine dwarf midget and fairy tale porn. The BBC hosted this website on their servers. And yes, I know it's a joke, but people could have stumbled across this not knowing it was a joke. And this is on the BBC's servers. So I'll just show you. I'm not going to read any of it because it's 
It's one, it's not funny, and two, most of it's disgusting, and it's written to be in a disgusting manner. Now, if you don't believe me that these are still owned by the BBC, look, you can do a who is thing here, right? And have a look down. So, focce.co.uk. A lot of the details are hidden, like the, the registrant's name and everything is hidden, as is their right to do. But you can look at the name service. Look, it is hosted by the BBC. And the BBC, in their Freedom of Information request, said they own it. Yeah, you know, all right. People's opinions and what's funny does change over the years. I get that. And I get that they're made for a TV show. But should the BBC be writing stuff like that? at any time, especially with the history that they have. And the other thing is, why have they not let these domain names go? They're of no use to them. The TV show's long defunct by the look of it. The sites are mostly offline. You have to use the Wayback Machine to get them. Why are they keeping ownership of these domain names? Do you not think it's disgusting? Knowing the BBC as we know them, how is it okay? How is it okay? But yeah, I've got quite a few more of these domain names to go through, actually. I just picked those ones because they just... Piqued my interest when I was just flicking through, but I'm going to go through each and every one, use the Wayback Machine, and see what they've been doing. Most of them are like, uh, where are we, like news ones and different language news and stuff like that, which is going to be boring, so I probably won't talk about them. But stuff like this, yeah, I'm still disgusted by it. I'm still disgusted the BBC thought it was okay to put that on its servers. It's the BBC, the BBC, knowing what we know. Gah. Oh, it's mad, isn't it? What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below. I'll tell you what, I'll put the links to the list of domain names. I don't know if I'll put the links to those websites because they are a bit disgusting. But if you know what you're doing, you can get on the Wayback Machine and you can find them yourself, can't you? But I don't want to link to them. I'm not going to link to them. So you can find them if you want to find them or just trust me that that is the information that's there. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in another video again soon when hopefully I'll dig up some more stuff that the BBC have done that they shouldn't have done. Thanks for watching.